Aspiration. What gives my work meaning? I am self-employed regardless of who pays me. Just a wonderful quote to show that when we have that sense of control, it really contributes to our sense of well-being. Responsibility. We begin by taking responsibility for our own happiness, not just blaming management or others. We work using our greatest strengths and dedicated to something bigger than ourselves. We feel more fulfilled. So if we just constantly blame management or blame our coworker, that's all outside of us. And chances are that that's not going to change much. It's probably not going to help us feel any better or them to feel better. But when we take responsibility, the ability to respond, to recognize our emotion, acknowledge our emotion, this is my anger, and then to embrace it. That leads to understanding. This is my emotion and I'm feeling it and I'm wanting to understand it. Again, the reflection part for us. Imperfect. We may choose to work at the imperfect job for the moment. Mindful that we're not victims and we create um, potential in our situation. So it's so important not to fall into this victim where you know, it's that poor me and they don't understand me and look at all I'm doing for this organization or this company and they don't really get it. Um, that is not very helpful at all for us. But if we can see the potential, like look at the people that I'm in, in contact with. Look at my potential for taking and using this as a stepping stone to, to learning more. And it's providing me an income. Those are benefits that I, that I enjoy. Elsewhere, if fulfillment at my work is not possible, we can turn our attention to cultivating meaning elsewhere. So we may choose a new interest, um, uh, volunteering, a hobby or a life skill. Those are all enriching and again, they develop us. They give us a sense of purpose that we're moving forward in our lives. We're not just stuck in this job that we have a lot of difficulty with Outside of that job, we are making a difference for ourselves. We're doing things that we enjoy. Boss as teacher. The annoying boss teaches us that we can work and be happy at the same time. So if we look at the boss, or maybe a co-worker, and say, ah, there's something here for me to understand. There's... Um, there must be, because whenever I work with Bill, I find I get really upset. I wonder what that's all about. What does that say about me? Chances are this is more about me than what it is about Bill. I wonder if I can manage this. I'm going to reflect on this. I'm going to be safe and grounded when I feel those sensations of anger or difficulty or confusion. And then I'm going to invite them to inform me so I can better understand and I can make a significant change. 